Hello everybody and welcome to today's YouTube lesson. In this episode I will be teaching you how to create a nice sounding guitar track using a really easy method which I like to use when I create songs. <clears throat> uh, this method is based off uh, the circle of fifth. So first of all let's take a look at that method. So I've loaded up the circle of fifth right here and <clears throat> for those of you who don't know what the circle of fifth is it's simply all the uh, all the keys that we can use. So on the outside of this circle right here um, we have all the major keys and on the inside we have all the minor keys. Um, it also happens to be that um, if we take the C major, for example, um, on the inside we ha have the A minor, which also happens to be the parallel key of C major. Same goes for the G and E minor, it's the parallel keys, and so on and so on. <coughs> so how can we use this to our advantage? Well. Um, First of all, we have to decide what key we want to work in. So for this project, I will be working in the key of G. And the neat little trick that we can use is by choosing a key of our project, we can also, um, yeah, of course we can use the, uh, the G chord, since it's a part of uh, the key of G, uh, but we can also use its neighbors. So in this case, we can use the C and the D and its respective uh, parallel keys. So in this case the A minor, the E minor and the B minor. So these are the six chords which we can use when working in the key of G, if that makes sense. So now all that we have to do is create a chord progression using these chords. So for this project, I'll be using the G. Oh, that's a bad looking circle. I'll be using the G, um, the C, the E, and a D perhaps <clears throat> to create a nice sounding chord progression. So right, let's jump into our project. I, uh, I've loaded up a fresh started project. <coughs> And first of all, we need to grab our instruments. So first of all, I'm going to grab a piano. I will be using the Nexus, simply because I I have a nice on a piano. <laughs> so I'm just gonna rename that piano, so that we know what it is. Uh, the piano I will be using comes from PS Total Piano Expansion, and I'm going to use the Brilliant Piano sounds like this pretty nice in my opinion I'm just gonna turn down the volume a little bit so you can hear me talk <laughs> um, so yeah let's get started <clears throat> now for the chord progression um, like I said we're going to choose a G a C, a G, and then E. But then perhaps spice it up in the next round. So now I'm going to teach you a simple trick of creating chords. Uh, as you may all know, um, we have major triads. For example, if we choose C as our chord, this is a C triad. Yeah, you might recognize that. So, what do we have here? Well, we have the f uh, the first note, which is, <laughs> yeah, the note of uh, the chord that we're going to be playing. So, in this case, it's the C. Uh, second, we have the third. In this case, it's the E. And finally, we have the fifth, which in this case is uh, the G. 
So there's our C triad. So what I like to do when creating chords and chord progressions, I like to do a little trick. Uh, so uh, <clears throat> now since we're playing in the key of G, and I think I'm going to start off with a G chord. Let's start there. So we take our first note. it out and then what I like to do is bring it up an octave like that and if we would have made a major triad out of this chord we would have had the G the B and the D so now if we remove the third note which is the B we're left with the first note and the fifth, which is the D. So now we're placing the D in between uh, the first note and the octave. We have something sounding like this. Which... Uh, <laughs> uh, they're, ref they're referred as claws, because when you take that chord on piano, it simply looks like <laughs> your hand is a claw. <laughs> So yeah, uh, that's something we can do, and um, yeah, let's continue. I'm just gonna copy this, and next up we're going to use a C. Ugh. So I'm just gonna dra drag this up to a C. Then we're going to have another G, and finally we're going to have an E. So let's take a listen to what we got so far. Yeah, it sounds alright, but pretty dull, if you ask me. Let's do that instead, spice it up a little bit. And what we can do is place the triad on top of the chord. So now we're working down here. So then let's place the triad on top. Like that. So yeah, that sounds all right. Um like that. And so yeah, I'm gonna place this at the C. And then copy all of these notes over here and then drag these up to an E. So let's take a listen. <laughs> Drop that down to make it a solid E minor since it's not a major chord. Cool. Um, let's copy all of this. I'm hitting uh, Control A to mark it all, holding down the Shift button and just dragging these notes along. Um, and let's change up the end part. I'm, I'm liking this chord progression. We have the G, the C, the G. But on the end, let's let's go down. Let's place an E on the bottom instead. Um, previously, we had it on top. And then let's copy this and make it D as well. Uh, just going to make all notes fit in. Um, can remove those and bring these forward instead. So that we got. I'm <laughs> just raising the middle tone, uh, the third note, to make it a major D instead of a minor D. So let's take a listen to what that sounds like. shabby 
<laughs> so all right. Um, ne next, let's create a base. Um, for this, I'm also going to use Nexus. I'm going to go to the guitar expansion. If you don't have this, don't worry. Um, you can use like a built-in Apple thing, like for example, for the keys you could use Apple keys, and for the bass you could use the Boo bass or yeah <laughs> whatever you prefer I'm gonna rename this bass and to make it real simple I'm just going to copy all of these lower notes these are the, the bass notes or the first note of the chord going to go into the bass and place those in so we get this yeah now I'm going to do some variations just to spice it up Sounds alright. I'm gonna drop down the tempo a little bit to about 110. Just to make it a little more nice sounding. Next, I'm going to add the guitar. Um, you can use whatever you find. Um, for this, I'm going to use real guitar because that's what sounds the best, in my opinion. Um, so I'm just going to copy the piano notes and paste it into the piano, or oh, the guitar, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's take a listen. I'm going to drop them down one octave. I'm going to drop all of these... Um, the triads that we created on top, I'm just going to drag them down one octave. What we can also do is, if we go into um, the menu here in the piano roll, and if we go to tools and we go to strum, we can um, we can change the starting point of all these uh, triads since these triads is what I have selected at the moment and we can also change these to make it a little more realistic sounding to make it some a strum effect sort of so yeah that sounds pretty good let's turn on the piano and take a listen what it sounds like Let's add some drums. And again, if you don't have uh, the drums which I am using, then go ahead and use something else. For example, the FPC is a pretty decent drum set. Uh, it comes with Apple Studio. So I'm going to use use the Easy Drummer because it's got some nice sounds going to it. Uh, let's see. So bass drum and our snare. So I'm just gonna keep it really simple and I'm gonna drag these notes along. And also, let's see. Let's place a ride on every um, on every four like this. So we get this sound. We're just gonna mark all of these ride, uh, all 
of these rides <laughs> and I'm just going to drop the velocity a little bit. Also need to create a crash in the beginning of the uh, of the pattern. Play scene some. Toms like this. All right, not bad. Um, and lastly, we're going to add some strings. For this, I'm going to use some strings provided by uh, Amatho Beats, which I found a while back. It's called the Roland Vienna Strings. Got some real nice sound to it. I'm gonna rename these strings. And um, I think we'll. Uh, no, let's go into the piano. And let's copy all of these claws at the bottom. And we'll, let's go into the strings and paste it in. Oh, I'm going to drop the volume down a bit. Going to mark all of uh, all of the middle and drag it out. Oh, why wow, is everywhere? Um, like that, and also the top notes. Should we, we drag them forward a bit? So do, that we got um, some plain chords just playing all the time. So if we, if we played solo. That sounds good. So, and since we work in the key of G, like I said, then there's also a neat little trick which you can do if we're using strings like we are right now. Uh, we can play the high note, like like up here, really sound like it. And we can drag it all across. Since we're in the key of G, uh, the note G will always sound good uh, <laughs> to whichever chord you're using. I'm just gonna drop down the velocity really bad on this one, but it will still be there, like in the background. Let's take a listen. Drag it up a little bit. So yeah, cool. Now let's play it all together. cool <laughs> now I'm not gonna do some major um, editing what I will do is uh, go into the limiter which is on the master I'm going to drop down the attack the release and also this limit peak uh, thingy doodle I'm going to compress it a bit um, this varies a lot from what pro projects uh, that you're in, but I I like to drop the ratio ratio to about uh, 2.1, which you can see up here in the display head, and and the threshold about 20 decibels or something. And then, since now we've dropped a lot of sound, we're going to bring it up by raising the gain a little bit. So let's take a listen. What we like to do is here you can see. Uh, the peak meter and what we want is 
for the peak to reach zero decibels which is right here between the yellow stripe and the red stripe everything above that will clip really bad or make some harsh sounding noise and if it's lower zero it will simply not sound uh, it will not be loud enough so yeah let's take a look at that and see if we can adjust the gain and the threshold and ratio <laughs> Yeah, so we got it just around uh, zero decibels, which is nice. I'm also going to compress this a little bit. I'm going to add a fruity compressor. I'm going to choose the Reset Master one, just, just to make it uh, soft and also raise the gain a little bit more. So let's take a listen now. Sounds nice. Uh, when you add the compression and the um, the limiter, uh, or if you compress it at all, uh, when you're raising the gain, you might have to adjust the volumes of each individual instrument. Uh, you have to do that by ear uh, to adjust it to your liking. That's nothing I I can tell you what to do because each individual project it's unique. So <laughs> I can tell you do this and do that. Uh, so yeah. You have to trust yourself and yeah, play around with it until it sounds nice and until it sounds like something that you want to keep. So now what we can do, we have everything in pattern 1, we have nothing on any other pattern, we have nothing in our project. What we can do is we press this square here, we can take a look at all of our patterns and we can press split by channel. When we do this, um, Everything jumps into its own panel. So we got the bass on a separate panel, the guitar, the drums, the piano, the strings. Also a nice little trick which I like to use. So now we can simply um, paint out our project how we want it. Like for example, if we want to start off with guitar, um, we can do that. And then we can bring in the bass in the middle of that pattern and... Uh, And also we can bring in the drums and the piano right here. Also the strings. Something like that. Um, I'm just going to do a quick ending here. I'm just going to drag this in so that we only got the... We only got this, the kick drum, the right, and the crash. And then we can place the bass like this only the first chord and the strings like that so the piano perhaps now let's skip the piano um, all right something like that so let's take a listen to what our project sounds like <laughs> uh, harshly created in the in the playlist so yeah let's take a listen Yeah, that's our song. <laughs> sounds sounds nice, don't you think? <laughs> a little simple, perhaps, but <laughs> yeah, we didn't ask for much either. Uh, what I noticed was that we could place these toms right here, so we got a nice little going into it. Let's take a listen. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Um, you can play around and yeah, create songs this way. But now we have our main foundation, which we can build upon later. Um, so yeah, that's my little trick for creating songs, chord progressions, and 
yeah, just creating something general using the circle of fifth. <laughs> so yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this lesson or YouTube tutorial. Um, be sure to leave a like if you did, and uh, if you really liked it, then hit the subscribe button. Uh, also, feel free to check out my YouTube channel. Uh, got some some music posted. Will be posting music uh, as often as I can. <laughs> um, so yeah, do that and uh, have a great great day. Have a great day, <laughs> and I'll see you in the next. YouTube tutorial, or I talk to you in the next YouTube tutorial. <laughs> well, have a good one. Peace out.